Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this time around, I'm going to uh, film about passive and active income. So the first one would be passive in income. So I'm really confused sometimes when I'm thinking of that um, before because I was I had no idea, but now I searched it. And when you say um, active income, uh, it means that you have to work, but you have involvement with other people, with your bosses. So that's why it's really, you know, uh, it's uncomfortable because there are always eyes that are looking at you and I believe it's, it's uncomfortable. Unless if you are working from home. So, you know, if you are working from home, then your boss can see what you're doing and you have the liberation to do whatever you want. But I believe that it's still monitored for sure because even though the work is done remotely, then they can see your, you know, your files or your profile or your account maybe. Like for example, um, let's say your profile, yeah. so they can be visible by, I mean they can be, I mean your boss can visit your profile in case that you're not performing good, right? So what else would say? Yeah, so some, that's why I say uh, active income is not really comfortable because you have to do it in a way that there are always eyes or there are always superior that are looking at you and do if you're doing good or bad. So we're in when you say um, passive income, you can actually do in a way that it's independent. You don't have your boss to you know to demand demand something from you and there's no deadline and time frame as long as you know um, as long as you're doing on your own i believe that you can try right like for example youtubers so i would say that the example of passive income would be youtuber because they have their time is flexible and they have the luxury to do whenever they want to and they don't need to <clears throat> They don't need to set a deadline in order for them to to do it. So it's more liberating. It's more chill, low key, and uh, you know, um, enjoyable kind of job. And if I were to ask which one would I prefer, uh, I'd prefer passive income because with passive income, I have my time to do whenever I want to. I don't need to be stressful with a time that I have to finish the, I mean the work or whatever it is. So that's why, yeah, I believe that it's better if you prefer passive income rather than active income. Um, I'm going to, to state some examples of passive income and active income. So passive income, as I mentioned, which is a passive income, it's actually done as an activity or a job or work without involvement with other people. So you, it's like a freelancer. Like for example, um, modeling. Modeling, I would say, is the example of passive income maybe because you have no, um, I think there's always boss there. But I think it's considered as passive income because unless if you don't have a contract maybe. So at least you can still learn from that. And what else? Um, business. If you're uh, running a business on your own, like for example, if you're selling um, selling paminta, bawang, sibuyas, and so on and so forth, then that would be passive income, um, especially at the street, right? We all know that when we're walking down the street or the sidewalk, they are, you know, they're selling stuff, their food, products and so on and so forth, then that would be passive income. And when it comes to passive income, um, I believe that you can earn more as long as you are hardworking, you do your best, and it depends on the length of hours that you are um, rendering or you know working. So of course, if you do that uh, from, let's say, morning till evening, I believe that you can earn more because the money that you would gain would be flexible. Unlike if you're working in passive income, unfortunately, 
um, when it comes to pass, uh, when it comes to active income, your salary would, would be fixed because that's what it is, right? For example, uh, you're working at the office, and then your salary is 500 pesos. Then that would be your salary for from Mondays to Fridays. Unlike if you if you prefer um, passive income, I believe that. 500 pesos would be exceeded because you have your time. It depends on you if, whether you would like to be hardworking or not. But if you prefer to be hardworking, you can exceed 500 pesos a day because that's your um, tendency or that's your goal to exceed 500 pesos. So that's why it's so nice if you prefer um, passive income rather than active income. <clears throat> so, other examples. Other examples of um, active in income would be working at the office, working at uh, food chains or you know convenience store, supermarket. Uh, as long as you have boss, then I would say that's passive income. So comment down below, guys, if you know some active um, uh, active income or any jobs that you can earn from that passive income jobs <laughs> so confusing and then what else so passive income as i mentioned is it is a job wherein you don't have commitment commitment with other people you are liberal i mean you are free and you do you do a job without boss so your time is flexible and you know you can earn more i would say as long as you are hard working and you do your best in order for you to earn more and if you have for example if you have a lot of family at home then i would suggest that your job would be passive income because your money would be flexible i would say and when, when it comes to active income unfortunately your salary would be fixed because um as i mentioned you just yeah when, when it comes to active income you have boss so it depends on your performance if you're good but actually even though your performance is good i think there's there's a fine line there's a fine line between um active income but if you are a performer so i think even though it's um, active income, as long as you are a performer, you can earn more because you are the best, right? Because of the incentives and bonuses, because I actually experienced that before. And when we are really great at our work, we can get like incentives, um, pub or performance, actually no, my, my colleagues, they got a uh, performance bonus. And as a matter of fact, um, her, her salary, is big because of you know those incentives and performance bonus because you know she was able to enroll a lot of students so it's actually um esl in this esl company way back then in uh, 2019 it was booming in the philippines so yeah we we were able to earn so much because um because the flexibility is still there even though it's an active income kind of job which is ESO but unfortunately now uh, it's not that flexible but we still earn though so yeah that's the, so that's one of the examples of passive income which is um, ESL being a uh, English English teacher in China so yeah that's all for now guys if you learned so much things from this vlog don't forget to click the red subscribe button down here so you'll be notified every time I'm going to to share with you the knowledge that you can use in your daily lives. Thank you.